What's going on everyone? My name is Mandeep. Welcome back to another amazing episode. Today we are at this exquisite modern farmhouse. Jesse Cook of Engel & Volkers, West Vancouver is the listing agent of this beautiful home. A huge thank you to Jesse and his team for letting us tour his amazing listing. If you're looking to buy or sell in North or West Vancouver, Jesse is an expert in this area. Make sure you get in touch with him. I will leave his contact information in the description below. 2764 Edgemont is located in the very prestigious North Vancouver, just steps from Edgemont Village. This home has six bedrooms, seven bathrooms. It has 5,000 square feet of interior living space and sits on an 8,050 square foot lot. All right, now let's go check out this amazing house. So I'm walking on these pavers which are leading to the front of the house. On this side, we have some landscaping. Usually when I see a farm style house, I see this type of, uh, these type of trees. I don't know exactly what they're called, but I like them a lot. And beyond the trees, we have a black fence and it also looks very modern as well. The front of the house is cladded with James Hardy and we got the shingle style and also the Hardy longboard as well. Up above over there, we got that nice finish on the front of the house, which is, uh, I believe that's a fully concrete. And I think it gives a really nice touch to the house. So this style of home, modern farmhouse, is one of my favorites and is very popular right now. I feel like if you have a house like this on the market, it's gonna sell very quickly. So over here, we got a black garage and because the driveway is kind of slanting down this way all of the water would uh, conveniently just go right into this gutter right here i think that's great and at the front of the house we have this massive door with a massive door handle right here and on both sides of the doors we have these windows i think it's an excellent touch all right so let's go into the home and check out the rest of the house follow me Upon entering this beautiful home, you're welcomed by high ceilings and this beautiful staircase. So the first couple of things that come to my mind as soon as I hear the word modern farmhouse is natural wood colored engineered hardwood, which we have right here, and shiplap, which I believe we're going to see a lot of later on. And another thing that you notice as soon as you walk into this beautiful house is how apparent the level of design and the quality of the build is. So on my right, we have the dining and down that way we have the mudroom and another bedroom, which we're gonna check out in a second. So over here we have, obviously we, in every single one of the homes that we tour, we see a wine display and then we have one right here as well. And this is temperature controlled as well. And I believe they have about 25 bottles in here. And just hold on for one second, Zach. I'm gonna turn on the light over here. There you go. Nicely lit up and then you could tell that it's temperature controlled because of that right there. Um, over here we have the powder room. So you know what Zach, I'm gonna let you go into there cause I want you to get all of the details. So we have never seen a vanity like that before. I think it looks amazing. And we have the rival faucet which is right built right into the wall over there. And let's just pass you right here. So right here we have the black rival. I've never seen a vanity like this. This looks amazing, I think. Very postmodern. And then we have the Kohler toilet, which is floating and it's fixed right onto the wall. And the flusher is right here as well. So we got casement windows and then we got a window right here, which allows a little bit of light to come into this area. And I think it was a great idea to have a circular mirror in here as well. So up above, we got a black light fixture and we're gonna see pretty much black hardware wherever we go. Like we have the black push pop right here. And we got the black handles, the black faucet, and the black light as well. I think they did an excellent job in here. So down this way, we have a dining table, which is currently staged for eight people. I think you could get a lot more people in here if you wanted to. I'm just gonna turn on the lights over here. There you go. And what we see over here is a barn door. Now, I just wanna talk about this for a, uh, a few minutes actually. Uh, the builder could have just placed a door, which would have cost the builder about $200 or $300. What they've done instead is they've placed this barn door, which costs upwards of $1,500, not including the labor. So you can tell how much money they've spent on just the design here. I think they did an excellent job. And just beyond this barn door, we have a very private home office. We got the front facing window over here. Once again, casement window. And you know that because you just open them up just like this allow a little bit of reason to come into this area. I think that no office is complete without a window because it just makes the work a lot easier when you're in here working all by yourself. And another cool thing is that they've placed that plug right on the ground. 
Zach, get a close up of that. So that pretty much allows you to orient your desk whichever way that you would want. And you can con conceal the wires neatly. You can keep it nice and organized in here. I like that a lot. So Zach, get a close up of this light. That's amazing. It's pretty sweet. I haven't seen a light fixture like that. I think it looks amazing. And the stager has done an excellent job in this house. You know, it's really fun to go and tour these homes. Me and Zach have a great time. Um, but when it's staged like this, the presentation, it just, it's very elevated. And it makes mine and Zach's job a lot easier. Zach, I just want to bring your We got a linear window over here as well. Allows more light to come into this area. And if you're building a modern farmhouse, black windows are a staple. You got to have the black windows on the outside and on the inside as well. And I've said this before, black windows cost a lot more money than just white windows. So over here, we got a nice big fireplace and we got the fireplace hearth right on the front of it. And this is where I would probably put my TV right here. I think this is an awesome place to just relax. Um, I like that the stager has place that green element right there and this window this massive window allows you to look into your beautiful backyard as well so let's check out this kitchen Zach so this is first of all amazing layout of the entire kitchen this is a massive island I'm thinking about 16 feet over here this is natural quartz countertop uh, resembles the look of concrete but it's not um, they did a great job with that as well so this is a top-of-the-line kitchen it has wolf appliances and sub-zero fridges so wolf is at the top end of all appliances and these are their signature knob you could get them in black or silver if you wanted to honestly I would get them in red because uh, everyone just knows about wolf right and then we have over on this side the sub-zero fridge here. Oh, sorry, this is not a Sub-Zero fridge. Oh, what they did is they got the fridge over here and they copied the style on that side. So here's the Sub-Zero fridge. And then you got the freezer on this side right here. That is awesome. And Zach, do you want to just show them as well? This is like a commercial style. It's just a vent over here as well. You got to have that if you want to be doing cooking on the wolf appliances i like the vent a lot the finish is amazing over here as well and then of course you got to have the pop filler here as well okay so let's get a close-up of these four light fixtures above the island over here so they're not really hanging they're fixed above the island we haven't seen a look like that before i think they did an excellent job here as well and then of course i really like it when the builder puts the sink inside of the island and that's exactly what we have here so like i was saying before you always see shiplap in the modern farmhouse and that's what we have here i haven't seen cabinets like this before and this is not stacked horizontally but instead it's this way i think that's awesome this is the command center this is where you would leave your keys you know you could place your phone here you could charge your cell phones and then if you wanted to you could have your cell phone here as well so overall, great job in the kitchen. Let's move on to this area. This area right here would be considered your uh, breakfast nook. And that looks a, like a pretty high-end uh, light fixture as well. It looks pretty heavy. So follow me down this way. So this leads you into the second kitchen, walk kitchen, butler's kitchen, prep kitchen. So many names for this kitchen right here. And we got even in the prep kitchen, you got a wolf range, um, super high end. Normally, typically what we see is that we see the high end appliances in the main kitchen. That's where you want to show it off. Um, and usually in the second kitchen, it's not as high end uh, of appliances. So you know that the builder spent a lot of money on their appliances. I think, I don't even want to say, but this is probably between 15 and $20,000. I could be wrong though, but very expensive. So over here, we got a fridge and then you gotta have the vent right here. All right, now let's go to the other part of the house, follow me. So the builder was Symphony Homes and the architect was Robert Blaney and the interior designer was Josie Smith, Studio Ila. 
So over here we have a bedroom on the main floor. So this would be perfect for a guest if you have any, uh, or you could change it to whatever you would want. You could turn this into a gym if you wanted, right? You could have your office here instead of having it over there if you wanted, whatever you would want. And over here we got a nice washroom. I love the choice of the tiles, Zach. You gotta get a close up of that, right? Nice little 3D texture of the tiles. And then also on the ground, we got the mosaic black tiles as well. I think that looks really cool. Perfect. All right, great job in here as well. Now let's go check out the mudroom. Follow me. So down this way is where you have your mudroom slash your laundry room. So follow me down this way. And this is massive. This is not a small um, mudroom over here. So. There's a couple things that I really like about this uh, mudroom. And one of those things is that there's no handles anywhere. It's very modern, sleek, and it looks really cool. So slow stopping, of course. Same thing up here, no handles, right? Slow stopping, side by side, LG machines. And then over here we have the sink, right? And then over here, a nice big window allowing a ton of light to come into this area. And you even got the runner I believe it's called the runner and uh, this room is honestly perfect. I would not have done a diff anything differently here. Over here we got some spot to put your uh, shoes and then more storage here. And then right over here we got some coat hooks. So me and my wife, we were doing a renovation and we were finishing our kitchen. We didn't know what to finish our backsplash with. So we have white tiles and we were choosing between gray and white tiles. We chose white grout just because it hides the imperfections because if you choose a gray tile or sorry a white tile with gray grout even if one tile is off it kind of throws off the entire design so a huge kudos i want to applaud the builder here your tiler must have been amazing because this looks perfectly symmetrical and you guys did an amazing job on this right even if one tile was kind of just a little bit off that would have thrown the entire thing off uh, you guys did an awesome job. So behind, or, over here we have the garage. We got a car parked in here right now. So you know it's a nice big garage. Honestly, you could get two, girl, uh, two cars in here easily. So one right here, one right there. And you got an irrigation system. You also have the uh, central vac, which is right over there. And then behind you, Zach, we have a door which leads you to probably the pathway that's gonna take you to the backyard. Let's check that out real quick. Yep, so that pathway takes you to the backyard, which we're gonna check out later on. All right, now let's go upstairs and check out the master bedroom. I know I say this every single time, but these stairs are amazing, but I'm a little bit biased because I love the engineered hardwood and I also like black finishes. So we got the black steel railing right here. And then on this side, we got a very distinct way of lighting up your steps. It's super hot outside today and I am sweating like crazy. I know you guys can't tell, but man. But anyways, these stairs are very simple, but very elegant. That's how I would describe them. So over here, when you get to the top of the landing, you have a beautiful spot to display some art. And you know that because you got a light, light fixture right here pointing down onto this area right here. That's awesome. All right, so let's go down that way actually, Zach. So the master bedroom was right there, but we're gonna check that out in a second. Watch out right behind you. Yeah, so down this way. So one of the other features of a modern farmhouse is that you gotta have the vaulted ceilings, right? So let's pan up and show them the vaulted ceilings. I would say that's one of the staples of a modern farmhouse. And the reason you gotta do that is because you gotta give that farmhouse style from the outside. You wanna give that barn style uh, look from the outside. So over here you see that the builder has placed another uh, barn door and right here we have the closet ton of room to place all your clothes you can hang them up you got some open drawers you got some drawers like this as well I think that's awesome so the reason that they place this here actually is because they it's very smart actually because you wouldn't want another door opening up this way or even that way because you already got one door here you got another door here as well this would just like take up a lot of room you wouldn't be able to put a nice big uh, bed in here so follow me down this way. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky. So typically what we see in a Jack and Jill is 
they have the two doors. So one door over there, one door over here, and another door over here. So they haven't done that here, which opened it up quite a bit. And I think that's very thoughtful. I'm guilty of putting a door here in one in all of my builds actually. And I think going forward, I'm not gonna put a door here or a wall here as well. I think that's very smart because it really opens the area up. Uh, other than that, we got beautiful tiles, the same one that we saw on the main floor. We got the black shower head. And then of course you gotta have the tub. And then right behind you, Zach, we got, right over here, we got the double vanities with the Ryobo faucets, black push pops, and then the Kohler sinks. And then of course you got the black light fixture right there as well. So follow me down this way. Once again, a very standard uh, bedroom, nice and big, and has its own closet as well right over here. All right, let's go check out the other rooms. So over here, we got another barn door. This is the linen closet. You can put your towels in here, extra clothes if you wanted. The builder spent a ton of money on a lot of barn doors in this house. And this window, this massive window, allows a ton of light to come into this area. There's a flooded with light over here. Um, I also like that the, the hallways are nice and wide, right? It gives you a very open feeling. So beyond this door, we have the very zen out uh, master bedroom. The first thing that came to my attention when I walked into here was this massive window. And if you don't know about windows, then when a builder is picking a window, not only do they have to pick the size, they also have to pick the frame inside. So how is this going to be set up inside? I'm sure that the designer helped the builder out quite a bit in choosing that. I think they did an excellent job over here. The second thing that came to my attention was this gigantic light fixture. Check that out. This is probably one of the biggest light fixtures that we've ever seen. And over here, we got a nice big king bed. Um, I actually have the same, exact same bed. This is a very com a comfortable bed. And I think it goes really well with the rest of the home. The designer, or sorry, the stager of the home did an amazing job in here. So down here, we got another barn door. And over here, we got a ton of space in this massive closet to uh, put up all your clothes. You got a lot of hanger space. We got a lot of drawers. We got a lot of open shelves as well. And then behind me, no uh, closet would actually be complete if it did not have this mirror right here. And that's what we have. All right, so now follow me to the master washroom. So we got vaulted ceilings in here. And then over here, we have a massive shower. So I'm just gonna get in here and you can probably tell from the echo of my voice how big this thing is. You got the body jets at the front over here and then a nice uh, shower head right up there as well and then a very sleek drain right over here and I was liking when the builder does this and they've kept it, kept it kind of level to the rest of the washroom yeah let's get a close-up of that that looks pretty cool and then of course you got the toilet in one corner double vanities and then we have the wood veneer right here with the white countertop um, excellent choice of the faucets and I really like these light fixtures as well. We've been seeing these light fixtures actually in a lot of the modern form, or sorry, a lot of the homes that we've been touring. So Zach, one more thing. Um, just check out how cool this window is right here. That's pretty sweet. So the reason they had to make it this way is because the, the slope of the roof is going down this way. And instead of making the window like this, what they did thoughtfully, and I think it's a great design as well, they dropped it down and sloped it along with the roof. That's great. And over here, we got the freestanding soaker tub and a black faucet, which is coming out of the, um, the floor. Okay, so yeah, Zach, I'm gonna let you get that. All right, that sums up the tour for the top floor. Let's go down to the home entertainment area. Follow me. Welcome to the home entertainment area. We're gonna check out the bar and the home theater in a second. Follow me down this way. No home entertainment area is complete without a washroom. And over here, we got the toilet right here and the vanity right over here. I like the design. I like this way of finishing the home. And I believe they did it this way is because this right here is probably cement. And then they had to build this wall just to get all the plumbing and all that kind of stuff. But very innovatively, they've turned it into a nice little design. This reminds me of kind of what you would see in like a cactus or something like that excellent job here so I, I would say the pro tips if you're building a farmhouse or you got to have the engineered hardwood you got to have the black finishes and then if you're looking for black splash 
the backsplash should be white and any tiles on, in the shower or on the ground like we just saw you would want them to be gray or black so let's go down this way this is where we have the home theater room so a nice big home theater room complete pre-installed with your very own screen right here you got the 4k projector as well and then obviously you gotta have the nice carpet on the ground as well i always like to show what it's gonna look like without the lights on in here so without the lights it would look something like this and then you got the drop ceiling right here as well and then above the drop ceiling we got the led light this is the best way to watch your movies shows whatever you would want and another cool thing that i like about this home is that they've painted the entire room in this dark gray and, and the ceiling as well so they did an excellent job in here All right, so now let's check out the TV area. And what we see here in the TV area is that they integrated the TV area and the, and the wet bar all together. So this is very smart. It's a very good design idea. Let's just say that this wasn't here and you just had your TV here. The bar would have to be probably here or probably there, and it wouldn't be the center of attention. So I'm gonna take some notes on this as well. When the builder spends a lot of money in this area, you want it to be the center of attention. As you can see, they've spent a lot of money here, right? They, a lot of thought was put into this place and they spent a lot of money here as well. So what we have over here is we obviously got the TV, which is playing my YouTube channel right now. That's so funny. And then over here, we got the cabinets, we got the ship lap, which is vertical, and we got the cabinetry, which is similar to what we saw upstairs, but a darker color, and then we got the bar fridge right here, the fridge dare bar fridge. I'm gonna say this is probably about $1,500 to $2,000. This costs as much as a regular fridge, isn't that crazy? And then over here, we got some floating shelves. The floating shelves have the puck lights right in them, so you can illuminate whatever you would want down here. And then of course, you got the rival faucet right here. So excellent job once again over here. And then on this side, we got the couch, a massive L couch to enjoy those movies. Watch out right behind you. All right, so down this way, we got a little bit of an area where you could do whatever you would want over here. Currently, they just got a little bit of seating area over here. You could have your billiards table. You could have a nice little poker table here as well. So I don't know, what would you use this area for down here? Like, put it in the comments. What would you do here? Over here, we have the furnace room. And I always like to check it out just to see um, how neat and clean this area is and doesn't disappoint super clean very organized excellent job so down this way behind this door is actually a suite it's a one-bedroom suite and let's check that out as well so we got the one-bedroom suite which is right over here so this is the one bedroom so a nice big bedroom and still a lot of light because you got this big window and you got a window well as well. And some light is coming through there. And we also have, so the builder didn't cheap out on this basement. They spent the same amount of money probably as they did upstairs because you still got the engineered hardwood. Normally what you would see is that uh, the builder places laminate in here, but uh, I think they did a great job. They put the engineered hardwood here as well. So you got the tub, you got the uh, toilet and then you got the vanity here as well. So down this way, you're not going to see wolf appliances here, but you still have, you know, right over here, you got the LG and the LG microwave and then a, a nice fridge right here as well. That's awesome. Same subway tiles that we saw upstairs and they have the grout, the gray grout here as well. And then of course you got to have the dishwasher. So I was talking to Brian who was showing us the home um, and he was saying that you could get about $2,000 for this suite. So that's a huge mortgage helper for houses that are priced so high these days. You gotta have that mortgage helper. And you know, it's very, um, the, the renter here would be very discreet. You wouldn't even know that you have a renter because they have their very own entrance and exit, which takes you to the front of the property. You'll notice when we check out the backyard, they're not gonna be in your backyard at all. They come down this way, enter into the place and they exit into the front of the property. And the front of the property, the street park, there's street parking for them as well. 
All right, so that sums up the tour for the house. I am very, very excited to show you guys the amazing backyard. Follow me. Welcome to this amazing backyard. These accordion doors open up to let you into this space right here. We got a pre-installed gas powered fireplace right over here. And then this roof is a cantilevered roof. And basically what that means is there is no beams supporting this roof. And inside of that, we have the pre-stained uh, soffits and then also built-in speakers everywhere as well. Down here, we got a nice little seating area right here. And then beyond this, we have a Napoleon barbecue. This is a heavy duty barbecue and I'm assuming that this is included with the house. So the reason that I, I'm gonna go down this way, Zach. The reason that I always want to bring to the attention um, these pavers right here is because these are hand laid each one of these is hand laid and look how level this is right so that takes a lot of time to do and that's very impressive so i always want to showcase that detail as well so down here we got some ellen blocks which are used as steps into this amazing backyard as well we got a whole bunch of grass area you could put a hot tub or a pool if you wanted to you got some cedars which are gonna grow nice big and tall which will eventually create even more privacy this is a very nice backyard so that sums up the tour for this amazing home let's go to the front of the house and conclude that was an amazing modern farmhouse a huge shout out to jesse cook for letting us tour his amazing listing symphony homes you guys did an amazing job please like comment and subscribe and see you in the next episode